So, you know, what do you do when you, you go somewhere and you can't talk a standard life? Well, just try love. Just love. And so they ask me. So they don't do much prophetic there, although they believe in it. I said, well, how does that work? And I'll tell you two things that helped me big time. And I'm no prophet. I told him flat out, I'm no prophet. Uh, but I said, we can all prophesy. That's 1 Corinthians 14. So I said, first of all, I've just made a commitment that I'm going to stretch. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to push beyond uh, just comfort levels. Uh, you've maybe heard me say this too. I've made a commitment. Oh, this is kind of touching me. I've made a commitment that whenever I step up to the plate, I'm going to go, I'm going to do something I've never done before. And I don't know what that is, but when it exposes itself or presents itself to me, um, my commitment is to walk beyond, uh, as some people call it, the chicken line. Go beyond the chicken line. <laughs> step over the chicken line. So here's two things that I said, and I'm, I'm not speaking from a man of experience. I'm just speaking from a man of it works for me so how do you prophesy over somebody you have to love them you have to love them faith works by love faith works by love and so Lord what do you think about them could I get in the stream could I get in the download the da the the stream of your heart and your love for them so I for many many years I've created this picture in my mind and uh, it might bless you. You guys probably got better ways of doing this, but this is just one man's way. So I think of in God's mind, he's got a big bank vault. In that bank vault is all the thoughts, dreams, aspirations, love, affection, adoration, and uh, that he has for me, for, for each individual. It's all in that bank vault, excuse me, in that bank vault in his heart, in his mind. And so what I want to do is, can I get into that stream? So think of it, it's a big bank, bank vault, and it comes down to a funnel, and then it comes down to a conduit, and then it falls right on me, or falls right on that person, or that person, or that person. Each of us have one of those. Now that's just, just my little boyish way of looking at it. I'm not saying that's Bible. That's just my little boyish way of looking at it. So what do I want to do? I want to jump inside of that conduit where the goodness and the thoughts of God are coming out and I want to begin to say what I know that he's saying. Oh Lord, I love how much you love them. They're so precious to you. Oh, your heart is just ecstatic over them. You've got good thoughts. Now every one of those thoughts and you know, two or three or four dozen more like that comes straight out of Scripture. So I'm, I don't have to stretch anything to say those things. In the course of saying what I know he believes about them, here's what happens nearly inevitably, and that is a new spark, a spark of thought, a spark of inspiration, a spark that I didn't think about that I, a verse I hadn't thought about forever or whatever, it pops into my mind. So how does it get started? First of all, faith works by love. I have to, Lord, I love these people. I want to love them the way you do. The second thing is, Lord, I want to get in that conduit download of what your thoughts are for them. I want to just speak what I know to be true. And then in the course of speaking those, little sparks will begin to happen and pretty soon you're off on a on a good trail on a good pathway that has something fresh and uh, specific and personal to them so again I'm not speaking as a expert I'm just speaking as one one pilgrim is as experimented a few ways and it's one way that works for him so first Corinthians says the parameters for prophetic are three things encouragement exhortation and comfort well who doesn't like that who gets too much of that <laughs> and then a couple that with Galatians 5 and the nine fruits of the spirit love joy peace meekness temperance gentleness long-suffering and self-control I think there were one or two more in there 
And against such things there is no law. They're always in season. Here, let's just make a uh, little statement here to the Lord about our posture and our desire to walk in that. Father, uh, something's resonating in our hearts and for sure it agrees with theological positions but something very organic and deep is resonating and that is these things sound like your heart father they sound like you it sounds like our father's voice sounds like the way you do business and we love that about you that that's the way you treat us that's the way you handle us you nurture and guide us you've proven yourself to be the very best father ever we're so grateful thank you thank you thank you and father um every one of us here are we have some amazing trophies in our life. Just this, the mantle and shelves of our life are covered with trophies of where your grace has been displayed through us and then lives have responded. That just makes our hearts tender to think of how heaven, heaven equips us, beautifies us, and then adorns us with the trophies. What an amazing God who gives all you are to us, your sons and daughters. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Father, just say it's our desire to grow in our, ex our ability to express your love. What does it take to grow what does it take to mature even more in the capacity to feel your love? First of all, to find your love for a person in front of us, then to feel your love for, for the person in front of us, and then to express your love for the person in front of us. What does that take? We just say it's our hearts, our desire to walk in that and be really good at being you at re-presenting you around us. Thank you, Father, for helping us and empowering us. I wonder if the Lord inspired this song years ago, secular song, but it sounds like Father's heart says, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for one but for everyone something like that you just think about it father his spirit his presence hovering over the face of the earth and by osmosis it sneaks into everywhere including the secular songwriters they can't help themselves 